Hey YouTube, Jason here, or BoomKid, bringing you my personal tips and tricks uh, on how to get better on this game, modern on Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Uh, first of all, let me show you guys my stats. Uh, as you can see on screen, I have a 1.96 uh, KD ratio. My win-loss ratio, I have 800... Oh, you guys can't see it. Let me... Wins. 813 wins to 236 losses. Um, I guess I went on a win streak of 33 games. Don't remember that, but um, yeah, that's my stats. 1.96 KD. It dropped a little. I had it at a two, um, but I'm going for Damascus, so I got to use a little, a few different snipers and stuff. So that kind of hinders me just a little bit. Um, let's see. Moving on. Um, oh, okay. So basically, my personal thing about this game is to get better. You, you just got to keep on playing. The more practice you have, as you can see on screen, I have 6 days, 17 hours. That is ridiculous. That is way too much time on this game. But that has allowed me to practice, get to know the maps. Uh, map knowledge is, I want to say, 75 to 80%. Um, it's going to tell you how much, if you know the map well, you're going to know where people spawn, how people, where people are going to be, things like that. And if you know, if you know map knowledge, the rest is just your gun skill. And, you know, that, that just comes with practice. You can hop in a private match by yourself, go run around the map, learn different spots here and there. You can go watch other YouTubers, go watch the professionals play. You can see which head glitches to hold, um, which places to be at, and vice versa. That means if you're the person that is in a situation like that and you know somebody's going to be there, you can pre-aim and kill them right there, pre-fire and kill them over there. Um, as for working on your shot... I suggest you hop into a private match, um, set up, you know, a smaller map. I, I do shoot, I do, I like to do gulag showers just because I just work on my shot. But um, for those of you, let's just hop into gulag. So gulag, I have my, I have a special mode. It's called my warm up mode. Make you can make your own settings. Um, I'm put it up to 100 kills. Um, spawn ammo mags. You want max max ammo, so you never have to run around and get ammo from other people. Um, other than that, everything else is not touched. Add bots. I put on uh, 10 recruit bots for this uh, map. I would just do recruit or regular. Um, that way it's not too difficult. You're just really working on your shot. You're not, you know, bots on Harden and Veteran, they just literally insta-fry you. So regular recruit bots, they, they don't shoot you back, but it works on your, you can work on your shot. Uh, as for the gun you should be using, get a gun that you, that you like using. Um, I personally love the M4. The M4 is, in my opinion, one of the best guns in the game. Uh, you can see it in the COD Pro League. They they all use the M4 as well. This is my class setup, no stock, GI Mini, Combat for or Commando Foregrip, Corvus Custom Barrel on the Compensator. Uh, you can either use the Corvus Custom or the M16 Grenadier Barrel. Um, but pretty much all the pros use this class right here. If you're playing, um, this is my Search and Destroy class. If you're using a Respawn class, they take off the sight. And they put on stippled grip tape uh, just to move around faster and get that uh, quick ADS speed. Um, the other gun that I would recommend using is the MP5. This thing is a beast and a half. Um, for s and I use this. Uh, I use one of these suppressors, this one right here. But for uh, public matches, this is my class, FTAC collapsible stock, sleight of hand, stippled grip tape, 10mm ammo, and Merc 4 grip for the hip fire. This gun is really, really good, like really good, and it can fry people like across the map. But um, yeah, get a gun you're used to. Learn the recoil patterns. Learn how the gun basically operates. You know, you after you play the game for a certain amount of time, you know when you're gonna kill somebody. If you hit three bullets and one of them is to the head with the M4, that that person is dying more than likely. If you hit three bullets with the MP5 and two of them are to the head that person is going to die after those three bullets that you all hit. And, you know, and that, that just comes with all practice. So let's, we can hop right into this match, um, this private match with bots. And, you know, my biggest thing besides practice is to just have confidence in yourself. I, if you guys watch any of my videos, any of my clips, I literally amp myself up so, I give myself so much gas. And it's unnecessary, but... It just reminds me that I'm better than others, you know, and you just hop into one of these matches. That was not good aim. You just work, you know, work on your snap. 
You know, you see that guy there? Boom. You see that guy there? Boom. You see that guy right there? You just snap him. You work on your snap. You try not to die, because dying just sucks. But this is a little chaotic. But this is how I warm up to 100 kills every day, and just warming up my gun, working on the snap. Boom. You know he's there? Boom. You see that guy there? Boom. Right here. You know something's gonna spawn mid? Boom. Snap. You can be aiming down your side in the mid map, and you can just snap. Ready? Some, if somebody spawns on my, somebody spawns on my right or left. Somebody spawns on my right. Snap. That was not good aim. You know what I mean. So you're aiming in, aiming in. Somebody's right there. Snap. Somebody's right there. Snap. You know. And that's. That, that, I literally just play against bots. If you want to just work on your shot without having the stress of, you know, going into a public match and doing all that stuff, you it, it's. That's just what you gotta do. Sorry, that was my timer going off. But, um, it, it's it's simply like well, I, I played all 100 day. kills just we to warm up my waiting. shot. My hands get a little warm, you know. You gotta get your hands warm, get your controller right. And I just think, I mean, I know my friends play on 130 health bots. I just play on 100 just so I know when I kill somebody is, you know, when I know when somebody's gonna die basically, and that's. But if you plan put put them on 130 health, 150 health, that makes you hit more shots online. If you want to work on your close range shot, I recommend doing like a small gunfight map. Gulag showers is my favorite just because they spawn right in front of me, and I can work on controlling the M4 recoil. Um, if you want to work on a, like map knowledge and stuff, you can go play. Go ahead, hop right into you know a gunrunner game. You you learn the spawns, learn the different spots that people are at, and that. And you can learn the map better and that's that's how you ultimately get better at the game is you know the map you know where people are going to be and you you can predict where they're going to be so um for instance we're going to hop right into a gunrunner game i'm not going to put any bots on but i'm gonna i'll tell you guys what's going on in my head when i play a quick little S D. let's just start it with uh, let's see where the rule is. CDO, SSD. So, we're gonna be. I wanna be defending, okay? And this is just a short little tips video. I just. These are my favorite things to do. I play this map a lot in game battles. Um, me and my friends, we're, we're pretty good on this map, actually. We're, we're pretty solid considering our record is not the greatest. But, um, yeah, so I'm our M4 player. This is the attacking side. For some reason, I'm attacking. I don't know. I should be defending. But oh, I know this is the defending side. So um, I apologize. So first things first, we're defending. You're gonna run this way. Search and destroy. And Protect more than Watch your back. more than 75% of the time, this is the first place you want to look. Somebody's gonna be. They spawn right behind that minecart. You're gonna kill them right here. Boom. One, two, three. Next spot you want to look is on this half wall. They're always somebody's more than likely going to be there. If you're somebody defending the B bomb, you can hop up on this crate, hop right up to the to the white crate. Somebody might be back forest. Somebody might be the wheel. Somebody might be on the green ramp. And lastly, somebody might be inside here. So when you are when you have to check corners and stuff, we call it shouldering, jiggling, whatever you want to call it. So. If you're, you're checking, so say somebody's behind this wheel, you hear your teammate call out, somebody's behind the wheel. So you jiggle once, he's jiggle once, you see that, he's not there. You jiggle twice, you can peek a little outer because you know he's not going to be there. So if you jiggle twice and he's not there, that means you can peek a little wider. And that, if you see somebody there, he might be there. Same thing goes for, say, say somebody is uh, inside this green, this green window right here, right? First, you have to jiggle out, you have to make sure nobody's on that half wall. Then you jiggle, make sure nobody's on the inner and below you. Then you can jiggle wider, somebody might be right there. Or, somebody might be right there, then you can peek even wider. That is just something a little quick. On the attacking side, vice versa, you know, somebody is going to be... 30 seconds. If you go to this half wall, somebody Move. might be over there, when I, where I said I was in spawn. Somebody might be on this crate up here. You just gotta, you know, it, it's, it's really all just a feel kind of game you know you play a, you play a few rounds against guys that play really aggressive you you either match their aggression or you can play just as slow as them or you just play slower and make them push you 
Um, oftentimes, I have teammates. They love to get up in people's faces. They love to rush, and they 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 win those gunfights. They and they win the straight up gunfights, and then I'm in the back trading kills. And you know that's never a bad thing either. Um, it's really if if you're playing with a team and you guys know callouts on the map, you guys know you guys know how the map works. Um, we we domination on Gunrunner. It's there's A, B, and C flag. Um, that also helps callouts as well. If you hear somebody, oh, he's on the C flag, you know he's on the train track somewhere by that by that spawn. Um, and yeah, I just I. I really think that to get better at this game, it just comes with playing the game repetitively and repetitively and repetitively and getting those mental reps so you know where people are going to be in certain situations. Um, if you're playing public matches, UAVs always help. You know, you check your mini-map every now and then. You can see that red dot on the screen. You know where somebody's going to be. Oh, I guess I should show you guys my settings. Um, I play default layout. I have a scuff controller, so I have a paddle. I have paddles here that are my extra A and B button. Um, sensitivity, I play 6-6. Six, six. Uh, I'm I mainly play the assault rifle role, so I play 6-6. Six, six. You can go play at 7-7 seven, seven or 8-8. Eight, eight. It really all depends on how you feel. I play at a low zoom of one, so that means it's your sensitivity is 6-6-1. Six, six, that means it's naturally gonna be 6-6 six, six when you aim down your sight and you're looking around. If you raise this higher, the when you aim on your sight and you're looking it's going to be a lot faster um i use aim response curve type dynamic uh i don't i all the pros use it so i just i i use it too and it, it's good i i'm one of those weird people i like controller vibration i know when i hit somebody with a stun grenade i know when i hit somebody with a bullet in my controller it tells me gives me feed mental feedback and i've been playing like this since i was like 10. so like it's it's all kind of natural to me already i don't i don't play aim controller vibration off I, I leave it on aim assist standard so this is a big thing standard aim assist is the best it gives you the strongest aim assist as compared to precision or focusing i don't know why your aim assist becomes godlike uh weapon mounts all that stuff um tap to reload slide i changed my slide to tap i have to just tap my paddle back here or it would be tap your b button right here um as opposed to holding um you can slide cancel uh you guys will see that in play in my clips i love to slide cancel you know it's that quick your character just slides to do and you can get your gun right up and shoot um so yeah that's my settings there oh make sure you have these two things turned off weapon world motion blur weapon motion blur you want them both off because if they're enabled it is hard to play the game I don't know why they have it in the game, to be completely honest. Audio, I play... So this is a HyperX headset. Um, it's really, really loud. Um, so I play on boost low. Uh, you could play on boost high, depending your personal preference. I have my master volume at 7... Oh, controller disconnected. I have my mas master volume at 70, um, because it's just simply the loudest. Um, if it's louder than that, I cannot hear. It's Everything's too loud for me. I have the music at 10 because I don't want to have it all the way off. I like hearing the music. I'm just kind of weird like that. Dialogue volume, I have it 100 because I, I hear my teammates, or not my teammates, but like in-character game callouts, they say stuff and I just want to hear it. Have your effects at 100 because that's that's the sound of like people's footsteps, people's gun shooting, and that's where you know how they're going to be on the map, where they're going to be on the map. Um, that's... And those are just, that's my settings that I showed you guys my um, kill death ratio and all that stuff. My highest kill streak still 29. I choked it, I know. Um, but if you guys, you know, if you guys like my tips, first of all, let's just give you a quick round of brief summary real fast. First of all, confidence. Have confidence in yourself. Tell yourself you are better than other, uh, other people. Um, even if you might not be, you know, if you keep telling yourself you're better, you're going to want to get better. That's how your brain works. You just want to get better at something, so you keep on doing it until you get better. And this is something I've been doing for like 10, 10 years. I've played Call of Duty since Modern Warfare. I, I wanted to just get better at the game because it's so much fun to me, and I just enjoy playing it. Um, so yeah, that was my first tip, confidence. Second tip, use a gun that you like. As you can see here, my weapon of choice, it's the MP5, and that's because it's good. I have the MP5, that's my stats with it. 
Um, it's a 1.7 KD, I know you guys can't see it. And then the my second most kills is the M4. I, it's a 1.68 KD. And those are my two favorite guns to use. Um, I, I know how to use them. I know how they operate. And, you know, somebody, one of your guns might be the M13. I have a 1.66 KD with this gun. Some of your, it might be the M13, and you may have certain attachments that you like on it, and you know how the gun works, and I would just say keep using it. You know, it's kind of like a main, right? You like something, you like a character in a game, and you want to get better with that character, you main that character until you become basically a master of that craft. You know, and it, and it just works like that. Um, terms of, let's see, kill streaks. Kill streaks I use depends what map you're playing. Uh, I, I, I like the UAV. You have to use the VTOL jet. The VTOL is very, very good. And then I last one I picked either the support helo or advanced UAV. If you're going for smaller kill streaks, you can go VTOL, say precision air strike or cluster strike, and UAV. This is also a good kill streak setup too. Um, and dead field uh, field upgrades. I use trophy systems and shipments. Um, I use dead silence in every other map possible just to get around the map faster. But yeah, like like I said, it pretty much just comes hopping into games just. Keep on practicing. Keep on practicing. Don't get discouraged because you have a bad game. I've had games where I go double negative, and then I come back the next following games, and I go double positive, triple positive, quadruple positive, and I just play really well. And that just, that's just how Call of Duty is. You know, It's just like a sport. You know, One game you might play bad, next game you're coming back, and you're absolutely dominating people. And that's, and I, that's what I love about this game game you you can do bad and then it won't matter because you just come back and do great the next game um so yeah that's pretty much all i have to say i have like class setups and all that it doesn't really matter like you want to use the gun that you're comfortable with using you want to have all the confidence in yourself to be able to win a one-on-one -on -one gunfight then you go and if you don't have that you don't have the gunfight skills yet, you hop into a private match, go play against bots, play against bots repetitively. I swear I have spent hours upon hours upon hours just killing bots in this game just to keep my shot, you know, nice and warm. I, I it's, it's something that I just like to do. It's fun too, I don't know, just the satisfaction of just killing bots and they, I'm dying. It's great. Um, but yeah, and lastly, if you have teammates... If you're playing with friends, you know, you they all they can call out where if they die somewhere and you might know where somebody is, you you can just turn around and look and see where that person will be. And ultimately in the end, it, these tips and tricks, they they may not matter to you. They they may not you know, get you physically better. I can't physically get you better at the game. I can give you the things that I do to get better at this game. Um and that but in the end, it's how you guys take it, how you guys want to apply my knowledge to your guys' knowledge, and how you guys want to get better at Call of Duty. And if if you guys have something else that you guys want to see me do, um, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your guys, um, what are your guys' thoughts on this, um, my, my mindset, I want to say. And, you know, that's just how things go. But, um... This today, uh, this video will be a double upload along with SND Sundays. You're gonna see me showing off how I know where, you know, I, I predict where people are gonna be in this video. Um, I I get really amped up about myself. We're playing against a top 30 team on the game battles ladder, and we we played really well as a team in a 3v3, and that was it was totally awesome. But that's enough talking for me. That's That was damn near 20 minutes of me talking about things in this game. I mean, there's so many more things I could cover. Um, I could show you guys different strategies and stuff later on. But if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I post a video. And um, if you guys stayed all the way to the end, the controller disconnected again. Something is wrong with this. If you guys stayed all the way to the end, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. Um, we are, we're trying to grow really big. Um, and I really thank you guys for sticking with me through that. But as always, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a good day. Peace.